Don't get covered fellas. I'm glad to be leaving this IQ bed alive after weeks. I just got home from the air. I have covered bronchitis and a ruptured eardrum. I'm in heck. This is heck. I am a 34 year old female and 3x vaccinated with Moderna. Booster the 9th of December. Comorbidities. I am 40 pounds overweight for my height. I have NAFLD, non-alcoholics fatty liver disease. My son developed bronchitis he caught from preschool over Christmas break. We were directly exposed to COVID by a family member who was asymptomatic on the 22nd. I started getting sick the 23rd, with the bronchitis we are assuming. Then I tested positive for COVID on Christmas day, 25th. Yes I had adverse reactions to the vaccines that made me want to swear them off forever but I would probably be in the hospital right now without them. My case is severe but I'm not dying. The vaccine keeps you from getting seriously ill. It doesn't keep you from catching it. Also I have COVID plus bronchitis so give me a break. My husband and son, 3, never had a positive test but both had symptoms. We were stuck at home due to a snowstorm so we couldn't get PCR testing last week. I'm seeing that people who test at home swab their throats instead of their nose and it immediately pops positive after a negative nose swab, due to where Omicron lives. However, I have lost my taste and smell which isn't very prevalent with Omicron so I don't know which strain I had. I am so sorry, that's horrible. I hope things look up for you soon. I just got over it, was vaccinated, thankfully only had very minor symptoms. The new strains are absurdly contagious. I haven't been out partying or going to crowded events. I work alone. Still caught it somehow. Somehow to this day I have yet to get covered. Despite working at a retail job where I'm exposed and literally every other employee has gotten it at least once. I'm really counting my blessings. Gonna get my booster soon. Stay safe everyone. We'll get past this. To be fair you might have gotten it and just been asymptomatic. Just got it for the second time. Positive test came back today. I almost died the first time with no underlying conditions wish me luck. I manage a grocery store and have had it twice. 34. Male. Overweight. The first was August 2020. It took weeks to test negative. The first week was like the worst flu of my life. The diarrhea persisted for 7 weeks. It was awful. The second time was September 2021, and I was fully vaccinated. The difference was night and day this time around. I had a headache for a couple days, maybe a low grade fever on day 1 or 2, but otherwise I felt perfectly fine. Covid is no joke and the vaccine made a huge difference in my symptoms. Glad you're out and doing well, OP. Glad you're doing well and thank you for keeping us regular folks fed. There were lots of thank you out and heartfelt ads going around 1.5 years ago but it seems like this is just the new normal moving forward. Stay safe. Just found out my PCR test from the hospital is positive. I was supposed to get back surgery tomorrow, hence the PCR test, been having to psych myself up mentally and now that's obviously off. Had a negative PCR test on Thursday from the hospital, on Sunday, had a runny nose, little bit of a stuffy head, but no fever or other symptoms. Felt mostly better today, figured it was a cold or an allergy attack, I'd spent a bit of time playing with a golden retriever on Saturday, and thought maybe it didn't hit me until I got home and took the mask off, kinda had a cough tonight, but that's not odd after a runny nose, I love with my elderly father who has memory problems. He's not so bad off, but I'm worried for him a lot. I am vaccinated and boosted, but I do work retail. The most frustrating thing is I tested negative on one of the home kit tests today, Monday, in the morning. It was one of those Binux ones, which work supplies to us. And I was in at work today, except for when the hospital requested a new test. I figure I'm luckier than OP with mild symptoms, but I'm devastated right now. From the mental preparation and anguish over the surgery that I'll have to go through again to the HR nightmare I'm facing with work, over postponing the surgery, to worries about my dad to whatever the heck I'm missing. What a stressful mess. I'm so sorry you're going through that. Sending you a virtual hug. It is freaking crazy how people can be affected so differently by COVID. 
you almost died. The worst symptom I had was the sore back I got from sleeping on the couch during my quarantine. I joked with my wife that COVID was the best 2 weeks of my life. Basically a mild cold for 2.5 days and another 12 days of paid time off from work to isolate. My wife didn't want me moving around the house it also brought me all of my meals and drinks a full 2 weeks and I was basically responsibility free the entire time. Glad to hear you're alright. That's how I want to get it in my dreams. Glad you are alive. My dad went in at the beginning of August and still isn't home. Almost 3 months on event and sedated then another month in bed hallucinating and now he's been in rehab for a month trying to learn how to walk again. So sorry. Strength to your dad. I got freaking covered. Sucks butt. On day 6. Hope it doesn't get worse. I'm starting to feel it in my lungs. Breathing isn't a problem, but it's more noticeable than before. Hope it doesn't get worse. Good luck to everyone who's affected. How did your diabetes play a role here, if at all? Previous post in our diabetes shows a history of high blood sugar levels. This isn't a jab. I'm curious because my mom has diabetes and for COVID. Can testify being vaccinated makes a huge difference. One week of mild flu symptoms and I'm much better already and have a clear head today. Hope the OP makes a full and speedy recovery. I tested positive on Monday and it's absolutely kicking my butt. But I can't imagine how bad it must have been to have needed the IQ. Glad you recovered well. A family friend was released from the IQ after COVID and the nurses told her she was the first COVID patient they'd seen leave their IQ alive. Just getting over my fist time and I never doubted how awful it was but holy fuck. I'm a healthy 36 year old woman and it made me want to tap out. I've gotten the flu once years ago and strep as well. I've also gotten a sinus infection once before. But let's just say COVID feels like all three combined plus something extra crushing your chest and head. It was terrible. Probably the worst week of my life. I'm so 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 grateful you made it out dude. Stay safe and live it up. What sucks the most is no matter what you do to protect yourself all it takes is that one guy, or girl, who doesn't give a crap to pass it along and 4-8 months down the line we get a new variant. The one crazy thing about this virus no matter where you stand is the variance of severity. I got it and I was mildly inconvenienced for a day but someone else can get it, lose the lottery, and die. It's crazy. December 2020 a co-worker got it. He's in his mid 30s, an artery going to his spleen exploded and he bled internally, which got infected. He's dang lucky he survived, he wasn't taking it seriously before that, he said it only affects people in their 80s and he refused to wear a mask in public. Thank you everyone with positive comments, I would like to clarify some things. I got covered few months ago, I didn't just go now. For the ones saying I was posting on reddit recently, I was not vaccinated before I got hospitalized as the vaccine was not available to my age group. I am not located in the US, but I am vaccinated now. I am not anti-vax. The bill was taken care by insurance, it paid only my reasonable part and a bill. I got all symptoms body aching, coughing, tight chest and difficulty breathing, but I did not lose the sense of smell and taste. The normal treatment did not help. I am not overweight, but my blood glucose was messed up when I had the virus, had pancreatic inflammation. When I said don't get covered, I meant to take your precautions. If you can, you never want to end up in IQ. Got admitted to the hospital when it got really bad with my breathing issues. 50% lung incapacity. It felt lonely and ugly seeing people being dragged out when they died every day next to me. Or hearing the heart monitor go on alert and medical staff running when they were dying. Wondering if I will walk away or end up dragged dead. I have a family that I love. I couldn't imagine leaving them. I'm not trying to get your sympathy. I'm just telling you how it was. And I want none of you to go through it. Stay healthy everyone. The truth is that COVID will never leave eventually everyone will have had it once. It may mutate into some less deadly variant, but it will be here to stay. The best thing you can do is get vaccinated, wash your hands and wear your masks. I'm at my one year anniversary of recovering from COVID. Caught it from a co-worker in December of 2019. 
Never was bad enough to go to the hospital but I still to this day have lingering effects of fatigue, decreased lung capacity, and reactive airway syndrome which is essentially like asthma. I previously was a healthy, athletic person, in my early 30s. Had a cold a month ago and still feeling wiped out and run down, with difficulty breathing, a persistent cough, and I'm on three different inhalers. My partner who I live with just got exposed to COVID. I'm really afraid that my new respiratory issues put me at higher risk and that if I catch it again I could end up hospitalized. COVID freaking sucks. Vaccinate and boost please, everyone. Ah and this is why even after 3 vaccines, I still wear an N95 in public indoor spaces, don't go out to eat and don't go to any large events. Tested positive on my moderate cough and congestion. Just lost my sense of taste and smell today. Fully vaccinated and boosted with Moderna. Be safe everyone. My step parent passed away last week due to COVID and their funeral is in two days. My parent was vaccinated and still got it but never went to the hospital. My step parent regretted it and said they wished it wasn't so political and wished they got the vaccine. Just lost our cousin to it. He was 55, healthy, and vaccinated with J&J, &J. nearly a month on a ventilator in an induced coma, and then he's gone. Frick COVID. Vaccinate, boost, do whatever it dang well takes to protect yourself and your family. Life is too short. Reality check. They're still COVID and we must stay careful even if we are vaccinated already for the sake of people who are not yet vaccinated. Plus, having COVID is no joke. It is really so hard every day. I just hope someday, COVID will be gone and everyone can go back to normal. It won't ever be gone. It'll be just like the flu. Glad you made it back. I wish dumb buttholes would stop saying it's a freaking cold. We still have imbeciles saying that crap every day on social media and it makes me freaking mental. I've worked at a local hospital. I was only cleaning and waxing floors but I've seen plenty of people getting tubes stuffed down their throats and plenty of codes. IDK if anybody knows, but when somebody codes their dead as disco, this crap is no joke. Stop listening to whatever political bulls you think you have an impact on and just help the human race survive. Politicians don't give a frick about you. They don't give a rat see hair about you. You're not sticking it to the libs or whatever. Just help the species survive. Could you imagine this current ridiculous turmoil when the polio vaccine was announced? Or imagine if people of power during the black plague told everyone it's not a big deal. Get frickin' real everybody. Stop fanaticizing about figureheads that give less than a crap about you. Get tested, quarantined, vaccinated, or whatever. I've seen relatives sobbing over a corpse because they weren't able to see their beloved relative before a hoax put their dong in the dirt. I'm glad you've made it to the other side of the acute phase. Since this is reddit, I suspect you'll get all kinds of horrible, personal and hurtful comments. Don't listen to them. Those people aren't real. They may think they are, but they're not. I've had my vaccines and booster and if things don't improve drastically in the next two days my GP is referring me. I have no underling issues. That I am aware of I'll live a healthy lifestyle, my wife got it 3 days before Christmas and she was fine. I started feeling unwell on Friday gone and I have fever, aching joints, thumping headache amongst other things since. Vaccine is not everything, I wish it was. Wife and I got it just before Christmas. I was fine after 3 days and really the worst was just the fatigue. She looked like she got hit by a train for over a week. Both double jabbed. Didn't get the booster yet. It's crazy who it hits hard and how hard. I'm worried. Someone we live with tested positive and my unvaxxed daughter is showing symptoms. They just recently opened up for her age group and I had an appointment to get her first shot this week. Both I and my husband are fully vaccinated and she's the only one sick so far other than the COVID positive person. I'm scared for her. It took 4 rounds of antibiotics to get rid of strep throat and a subsequent case of scarlet fever she had a couple of years ago. Who knows how hard this will be to beat. I hope the long term effects are minor at worst. I'd wish you good fortune. But getting out of that bed probably broke the luck bank. I'm at home getting over COVID. Thank frick I got the vax I would probably be in IQ without it. First 5 days I've never been so ill. Good luck hope you never see inside IQ again. 
I'm fully vaccinated and have my booster and tested positive Friday afternoon. Can confirm with absolute certainty. Covered as heck. I don't even want to know how worse I'd be without the vaccine. I wish more people read this part of Reddit. It's heck out there. And with scientists predicting that we are about to see the worst of 2021. Welcome to 2022. It's so easy to wear a mask. Why don't people get it? Hang in there and hope you fully recover soon. I'm not vaxxed due to immune issues but did get covered for the first time a couple weeks ago. Not sure if it was Omicron or Delta, but thankfully my symptoms were pretty mild. Headache and runny nose, mostly. My buddy got it and almost died as well. Almost lost his leg to blood clot complication and lost a lot of lung capacity. Would have been much more mild without the hospital stay had he gotten vaccinated though. The real LPT. Get vaccinated you frickin' animals. Congrats on your recovery, OP. Keep getting better and get yourself back up to 100%. I had COVID before and over Christmas but was really lucky to only have a mild dose. Two days of a temperature, one of which with a headache, the other a sore throat, then a mild cough for a few days that I hardly noticed. However, I have found my recovery times in the gym are a bit longer last week and this week. Don't know if it's a long term effect of the COVID or just me having lost some fitness from being out of the gym and eating a lot of junk for 2 weeks. I'll be watching to see how I am over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully this will improve. So, yeah, even a mild dose might leave you with long term effects. Best to try to avoid it. My aunt and uncle were anti vaxxers and caught COVID. Months later my uncle is still not recovered. They are telling everyone to get their vaccinations now. Silver lining? I've been doing the best I can and so far I'm good. Unfortunately I can't control those who refuse to vaccinate or wear a mask and unfortunately there are a lot in my state. People that are assuming that Omicron is incapable of harming anyone and is completely taken over as the only strain out there are in for a world of hurt. So many PPL got covered are and it should be alarming everyone. Instead this narrative of it's over is out there and no one seems to care anymore. Glad you made it, mate. And I apologize on behalf of humanity for all the jerks assuming you had the opportunity to get vaxxed before catching it. Not every country is so lucky as to have it freely available to most every citizen as it is in America. Glad you recovered. I had a good friend who died right before Christmas. Wasn't vaccinated. Got covered once. Thought he was super protected. For COVID again and unfortunately ended up on a vent and died. How did you manage to visit Morocco 5 days ago from your IQ bed? Delete your post history before farming karma next time. I already have COVID. Currently, my two anti vaxxer bosses have COVID. One is in hospital now. Prob on life support soon. I am at home. Been vaccinated. Very unpleasant. Really bad flu like. But otherwise fine. If you can get vaccinated. I recommend. Please. A friend of mine went into the IQ in October. Codes in November. Was saved and is now in rehab and has been since mid-December. There was a point in time. I was sure I'd never get to see or speak to her again and I am forever grateful that was not the case. If you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.